what's good everyone welcome back to another video now in today's video i'm going to be talking about why the modern day artist doesn't need a record label to succeed now back then you couldn't do shit without a record label like in the 90s for example if you were rapping on the street you couldn't just like blow up on some shit like you had to have like a representative or someone from a label or someone from a corporation backing you you know what i'm saying nowadays you really don't need that like obviously labels help i'm not just saying that like every artist has it can be independent back then there was no internet so like just taking that into account that changes a lot especially with social media nowadays like you know you could be an artist post some reel on social media gets 10 million views you know what i'm saying uh, all those views translate into streams and you're good you know what i mean i think that a lot of artists are being taken advantage of by these labels now let's look at a guy like dave blunt now this dude blew up off of a song he's like i can't put down the cup like like that snippet i remember blew up on tiktok and then you know now he's getting like on the radar freestyle etc labels are reaching out to him damn near he could just do all that shit on his own he could book a flight to new york do the on the radar freestyle get all these interviews he could do that on his own he doesn't need a label you know he could just contact all these media pages and platforms himself he doesn't really need you know a representative like obviously maybe a manager um he might need a manager but he doesn't need to be signed like he's gonna keep all of his royalties you know what i mean nowadays like with, with the power of the internet and the power of um shopify power of online communities there's so many ways artists can make money and shout out to the godfather of this shit nick d he's like a um he's a rapper that makes uh videos uh advice for artists and he encourages artists to stay independent um until they feel that it's necessary to sign um he makes great videos he just like sits down and yaps and explains so go check out his channel he really like encapsulates um the beauty of being an independent artist he's this guy you know he's millions and millions of streams on spotify he's just some dude who lives with his family on a farm you know what i mean he doesn't have, like live in la like right down the street from Capitol records you know he's just some like normal ass dude who makes a shit ton of money off the internet you know the internet is beautiful in that way it really allows us to make money from wherever the fuck it really it, like connects us like obviously like the in-person factor is everything shows like you know being in person etc like that's just everything but with the internet it's possible to do things from anywhere that's this is like the most yapping thing ever but i'm i'm, I'm i think i'm on a song let me know if i'm on a song i do think a lot of artists right now are being taken advantage of record labels i think record labels are finding artists way way too early for example you know artists get signed up for one song i remember that dude clappers that little bitch she gave me knowledge that fucking like 12 year old kid like labels were hitting him up probably signed like a 360 deal or who knows but you get the point labels try to take advantage of people um i don't know if this is true but I, I rumors were going around that jace signed for 70k 70k for five projects the amount that jace drops that's not even that bad and you know maybe jace really needed the money or whatever was going on with that you know shout out to jace but you know labels just try to think about it it's like a corporation sure they might be like interested they might like your music but it's not for your best interest you know labels corporations they're just trying to take advantage of you like i'm not here trying to say like fuck capitalism but like the corporations are going to take advantage of the soul of the artist you know what i'm saying like it's just like common sense you know obviously i'm not naive to the fact that signing to a label like gives you every single opportunity that you wouldn't normally get i'm totally aware like you're such at a disadvantage if you really want to like get into the industry and you know get get on the same level as like a drake or like a kendrick you know you have to you know you can't just be some independent dude doing all this but i think that the internet is going to allow for some of that to happen like i think there's going to be like a few artists who really emerge independently but i think that's going to take like a few more years to really see that happen you know record labels are are very do still dominant you know it's not like they're not, not completely um obsolete you know they're still going crazy they're still doing their shit um i'm not gonna say what label but i was on the phone with a label this label had their interns make fan pages for artists 
Now, first of all, that would be a crazy job making a fan page for an artist. I would, I would rather just do my own shit than, than make a fan page for an artist. But I just find it funny that that's what they're doing, like, out of, like, all the other things they could be doing. You know what I mean? I was expecting, like, some intern to, like, pull up a chart of two different artists and compare them and see which one's better designed or, you know, some, like, more official shit. But literally, they're making fan pages for artists. TikTok fan pages. I, I just... I don't know. I find that a little crazy. I find that like, why does a label have to be involved? Why can't an artist just hire someone to do that on their own? You know what I'm saying? Like get a management team. You know, I feel like management teams are going to be even better than like labels. Like who needs a fucking label? Just go to a management team to do that shit for you. Me and my friends are building an agency called Rap Launch where we do offer things like that. So this is not an advertisement, but I'm going to link it in the description. So if you're an artist and you're looking for label like services, um, I'm going to actually read you the rap launch mission statement it's not really a mission statement because a mission statement is like just like a one-liner but this is like our goal uh, we created rap launch to give independent artists who deserve more recognition everything they deserve record labels often take advantage of artists here at rap launch we want to provide a hub of services that all independent artists can take advantage of and see real growth we want what's best for the artists not the corporation additionally record labels are bloated operations and often we see artists unfulfilled Rap Launch is an in-house and each member of our team is dedicated to giving you the final product you deserve. So yeah, if you're interested in that, go check that out. Back to the video. Labels, they definitely have time to uh, thrive, you know. I feel like there's a lot of old heads that work at labels, but at the same time, they're definitely getting a lot of young people. So will record labels really go anywhere? No. But will they become less and less necessary? Hell yes. Where the landscape of artists and labels will be in like the next five years. I'm really interested to see like how necessary a label will really be. And I'm interested to see if, if labels, if these labels will really adapt to all these uh, new trends and new things arising. Because, you know, it's all about if you can adapt, then you'll survive. Survival of the fittest. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this Yap session. I'm going to be uploading every day. So if you want to see more videos. Please subscribe. I'm trying to get to 100K by July. Yeah. See you guys tomorrow.